Congratulations, you passed your US citizenship interview. Now, how do we apply for your US passport? All the information you need in one short video. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. We make immigration easy. And in this video, we'll talk about how to apply for a US passport for the first time, specifically after your US citizenship interview, a very important information as we enter 2024. Lots of people are gonna be applying for passports. All the information you need in one short video. But before we give you all the details, A to Z, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need help with your immigration matters, citizenship, green card, whatever you need, just send me a text, 619-483-4549, or you can go on www.immigrationasap.com, our special contact form, just put your information in there, and one of our team members will contact you ASAP. So, you just passed your N-400 citizenship interview, congratulations, and now you wanna know what to do next. The next step is you need to apply for a US passport for the first time. As a US passport holder, you can travel to over 180 locations all over the world. And most of these locations will not require you to apply for a visa. Also, if you had a green card before and now you become a US citizen, you can live abroad as long as you want without worrying of losing your green card or the ability to come to the United States. As a citizen, you can do whatever you want you're a free person. Now remember, we are now starting 2024. The current processing times for a US passport is eight to 12 weeks. And if you use the expedited application, you're going down to four to six weeks. If you need to travel within two weeks, you can apply for an emergency passport and that will take you a few days. But those appointments are very, very hard to come by with. Our recommendation, as soon as you become a US citizen, our recommendation, as soon as you pass your citizenship test and you get sworn in and you get your citizenship certificate, immediately apply for your passport. So let's talk about the process, how to apply for a passport in 2024 once you pass your N-400 citizenship test and you got your certificate of citizenship after taking the oath of allegiance. Step number one is complete form DS-11. Form DS-11 is form application for a US passport. You can download this form from the State Department or you can apply at any major US postal office. You can get this form there for free. Step number two, after you completed this form, you have to provide to the government evidence of your citizenship. If you're a newly naturalized citizenship, which you are now, your proof is going to be a fresh certificate of citizenship. Number three, you have to present a valid ID. Typically, it's gonna be your driving license. Number four, you have to obtain a photo, a picture of yourself that will go on your passport. The legal requirements of a picture is two by two square with a white background. The best place to get those pictures will be at any UPS or FedEx office, the easiest way to do it and the cheapest. Submit your application. You can do so in person at a passport clearance facility. You can do this online. And as I mentioned, a lot of these US postal offices have these passport divisions. Make your appointment online and then in person, you will apply for your passport. If you're applying for an emergency passport and you're traveling within two weeks, you can apply at a State Department official agency in every city, there are many of those agencies, and then you'll be able to get your passport within two weeks before you travel. How much does it cost? It costs $130 to apply for a passport, plus $35 acceptance fee. Children under 16 applying for the first time, it's only $100. Of course, you're gonna pay extra if you wanna expedite your application, which I recommend for you to do. So once again, let's talk about the timeline of applying for a US passport for the first time. Now you completed the form, you made your appointment, and you showed up, and you submitted your application, and now it's in their hands. Right now, about eight, 12 weeks regular processing. If you apply for expedited, extra $60, maybe four to eight weeks, you can have the option to apply for the emergency passport. Again, you have to show proof that you're traveling within two weeks. In most cases, I recommend for people who get naturalized, as soon as you get your certificate, apply for a passport. Because of the lengthy amount of time that it takes right now to get a passport, it's better for you to apply sooner than later. Some cases, people will literally leave the UCIS with their certificate 
and walk to a post office and apply for their passport. That is a good way to do so. You save time and literally within two to three months, you will hold a brand new US passport. If you got your passport recently, let me know in the comments. And as always, if you need help with your immigration matters, any immigration matter, all you have to do is send me a text, 619-483-4549, or reach me at www.immigrationasap.com, our specific contact form for you guys to give your information so we can contact you and help you to reach your immigration goals. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best.